Are you living under a bubble right now? No, we're not in the bubble of 2006 anymore. We shouldn't even be in a news bubble. Hopefully that image got your attention. I just want you to stop and listen and stop listening to the fake news that the big media is pushing out there about the housing market. If you really care about the housing market, take a couple minutes to listen to this video. I got this information from the Cromford Report, which is the premier source of real estate data here in the state of Arizona. So again, if you're in the real estate market here in Arizona, let's chat about what the big media is saying and what is really going on in our real estate situation. So that being said, the local press has been headlining sales prices for homes here in Maricopa County have hit an all-time high. That is misleading statement. And I take strong issues with it because the median sales price has not recovered to 2006 levels. And this conclusion is very misleading and quite frankly, completely wrong when you compare apples to apples. First of all, there are very few homes that would sell in 2018 now for more than they would have sold in 2006. The vast majority of homes in the Valley have not recovered the value they had in 2006 and are still quite a long way from doing so. If home sellers believe they can sell their homes for more than it was worth in June 2006, they're going to be bitterly disappointed unless you live in the heart of Arcadia and a few parts of Central and South Scottsdale. So the media stories make life uh, hard for folks like me um, trying to set reasonable pricing on homes for sale. The first problem in the stories of the media are comparing monthly median sales price for 2018 to June of 2006. And these are a very different collection of homes that were sold in those two time periods. They're really apples to orange comparison. For instance, in June of 20. Uh, 06, 2006, we saw uh, almost 11,000 homes for sale. The median price was 280,000. 28% uh, were new builds and the average sales price, different than median, remember back to, what well, I don't even know, was that middle school, elementary school, late elementary school? So the average is at 357. Again, in 2006, the average home size, get this guys, is 1840. Average home size, 1840. In 2018, May of 2018, we saw just under 10,000 sales, so about 1,000 sales less. The median sales price is at 285, um, which is up from up 5,000 from 2006, but it gets interesting. The percentage of homes that are new builds is down to 14%, so about half the new builds. The average sales price is at 354, roughly neck and neck, but here's the kicker, the average home size is nearly 200 square feet bigger coming in at 2,007 um, feet per home. So about 200 square feet bigger. That's a huge difference right there, folks. So it's really not apples to apples. So um, again, we can see there the mix between the two home, or two eras is very different and homes are about 9% bigger than they were uh, just over a decade ago. And the second problem is that the affidavits of value are inaccurate, meaning that a lot of townhomes are classified incorrectly in the beginning as single family homes. Now, we don't have the May data yet because it usually takes a couple weeks to get corrected in the county recorder's office. So if you're looking at something that's historically now accurate 10 plus years later to something that hasn't even processed through the registrar yet, of course, we're going to see a discrepancy in data. So this goes back to my old adage, liars or numbers don't lie, liars use numbers. So just keep that in mind and keep the perspective of when you are seeing data. So again, um, what else did I wanna share with you is we don't use median sales prices because they're just woefully inaccurate um, when comparing new homes to resale homes and then size of the home because the, the homes have gotten bigger. We saw a different mix of resales versus new homes. So that's really troubling um, to follow that statistic. So again, like saying liar, numbers don't lie and liars use numbers. I'm not, you can believe me if you want. I'm not lying to you because I'm trying to show you that as long as you're comparing the right data to the right data, then those numbers can paint the proper picture. But it's when you mix and mingle to try to tell the story that you wanna tell, that's where the problem lies. 
So the best measurement, um, not that it's perfect, but the best measurement for uh, price appreciation is average price per foot. Um, and what we were seeing in 2006 was $193, almost $194 a foot. And today we're seeing 170 a foot. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, tells you that we are not quite recovered to that 2006 level. So we still have about 14% to go. So we we're on the right track, the right trajectory, but these headlines are quite misleading. So all that being said, guys, just wanted to um, communicate that to you because it rubs me wrong. I, I run against this all the time when communicating with sellers. Um, and I just wanted to uh, make sure I shot this video to get it out to you so that you understood. You really have to understand where the data is coming from and why they're trying to communicate that before you um, use it as clickbait or just read the headline and communicate it to friends, families, to your agent, etc. So hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions on how the market impacts your situation, contact me.